Hey guys and welcome to Valiant Hearts Coming Home. This is a sequel to Valiant Hearts. I'm sure a few of you out there have played that. I actually played it myself a few years ago and absolutely loved it. And now Valiant Hearts Coming Home is available on PC and console. So a huge thank you to Ubisoft for providing me with this game. I cannot wait to play. Let's get started. France 1918. I know these characters. Oh my goodness. Hello. Of course I have to go back. Because why not? Hello. How are you doing? Oh. Whoa. This is honestly taking me right back taking me right back to Valiant Hearts oh I love it so much oh. 18 months before you know the last States. three years of war have shown no mercy to either side the bitter fighting continues across Europe over land, sea, and air, leaving behind mountains of casualties and many more broken souls. The United States till now had remained neutral, but the mounting economic pressure and the return of Germany to unrestricted submarine warfare finally awakes the sleeping giant. On April 6, 1917, the United States declares war on Germany. Within months of the declaration, the U.S. Army launched the first universal draft. And despite enduring segregation in their own country, over 360,000 African Americans enlist, eager to show their patriotism in hopes of returning home as heroes. James is one of these men. James, yes. So this is James's story. Chapter one to the front. Oh. Dear brother James, I hope this letter finds you well and that working at the docks is not too backbreaking. It's good to receive news from you and from home. Keeps my mind off of the war. We wallow in the trenches, in the mud among the rats and the dead bodies, afraid that if we stand tall, we might catch a bullet. But if you take anything from my letter, I want it to be this. Do whatever you can to stay away from this madness. You followed me everywhere when we were kids. But please, don't follow me here, James. Oh. There is nothing here but misery and death. Be safe and stay home. Freddy. Freddy. I'm very long. <laughs> <laughs> Bit grumpy. Hey, look at his clarinet. Amazing. Training camp, United States, 1917. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, I love this game, honestly. I love it. I love it. We have all those facts. I remember that about the first game as well. We have diary entries, which we haven't completed yet. I love this. Hello. Don't yell at me. It's all right. What's that thing? I want to hear him play his music. Our turn. No. All oh, right. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. Oh, there's our uniform. Mhm. Mm and we found something. 
Oh, okay. What did we find? Oh, a draft card. I love how it gives so much information. This registration card for the draft was filled in by a US Army recruitment agent. Draft cards had their left corner removed to indicate that a recruit was African American. Oh my goodness. What's wrong? Oh! Oh! We're just given a broom? Okay. Oh no. Jump up! Oh no, I'm lost, I'm lost. Is this a race? Uh oh. Yeah! Yeah, we're gonna win! How do I pick up that? Oh! How do I get that thing? There we go! Done. I don't think I'm very good. Just gonna say. I love how the other guy actually gets bombs. And I don't. Come on. Well, what can I what can I do? I just have bricks. Just getting bricks. Bricks and a bit of broom handle by the look of it. Not good. Yeah, it's just a bit of broom handle. Oh wow. Mmm. Dear Freddy, it's good to hear from you. Sorry to disappoint, but it looks like I'm following you around again. I've already enlisted with the 15th New York National Guard Regiment, or the old 15th, as they call us. We're done with our training and on our way to the front. We'll sail from New York to France. We're on our way to help you win the war. But don't you worry about me. I can take care of myself just fine. Your little brother, James. I love that we get to see these stories. April 9th, 1917, Vimy Ridge. This geographic stronghold held by the Germans since the early days of the war remained impenetrable. In the latest attempt to break through the German defenses, ground forces were ordered to team up with the British Royal Flying Corps. Before launching the attack, the soldiers were given a moment to write to their loved ones. Oh! Aim. Uh oh. Mm, you're gonna need some help fixing that, right? Yes, sir. Interrupted by George's unconventional landing, mm, indeed. Freddy soon learned that his unit was going to take part in the operation and be paired up with the peculiar British pilot, now grounded and without a plane to fly. Yes. Okay. It's just you and me, mate. Ten hot hold. Ready? Oh, okay. Okay, no no going in. Just one moment. I am curious. Oh, okay, this Oh beautiful. Freddy's diary. I've had enough of this damn war. More troops could help, but part of me hopes not one more soul has to suffer, especially not James. I love him and I know that this war would break him. As Emile always says, it's family that matters the most and you have to do everything you can to protect them. And I'm so sorry I lost you in this god awful war. I've got to get this right. For you and for our country. I watched you flying flawlessly for years. I know I'll be able to fly like you too one day. It's in my blood. Now it's time to keep on, to keep flying. 
I promise to make you proud. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> we found a little collectible. Lovely. I can see something at the back there, but we need to go this way. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, fantastic. All right, all right. Good, 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 good. Is there anything else that I can do that with? So now we have um, Upset. <laughs> punching barrels. Okay, got to keep this in mind. I want to be able to collect as much as I can. All right, let's go in. Ooh. Oh, okay. We need to put that together, I think. Okay, we need a few bits and pieces. So, can I talk to you or... Can I get up there with that ladder? Maybe not yet. Okay, so we're going to need a propeller and a wheel. Alrighty, let's go searching. We've got, um... We've got a stick that we can use to throw, I believe. Oh, there. Excellent. Great. That's one thing that we need. And there's another stick. Okay. Keep that in mind. It's always good to have something on hand ready to throw. Anything in here? Can I take your wheel, sir? Ah, there's a ladder, though. Oh! If I put that underneath there, then I can climb up and get this wheel. Oh! Right. You can only take one thing at a time. I gotcha. Okay, well, let me go and deliver the one item that we have. I have the, the wheel. Do I give it to you? Or do I just pop it on? There we go. There we go. Okay, going back. Got to get that propeller. And the last thing is the engine, but we know where that is. Alrighty, let's grab that. And while we're in here, I'm going to get this little collectible. Hey, we've got everything. That's nice. Okay, I didn't have to steal anything from that fellow didn't really want to but I will I will steal if necessary let's pop that on and get the engine uh, hang on how do I get how do I pick up that engine oh can I oh I think that will lower that may actually lower the ladder <gasps> Excuse me. Great. <laughs> Need to go get myself another stick. Okay, we'll try that again. I noticed that it didn't turn yellow. Hmm. Can I do it from this side? Oh, there. I need to hit the ladder, not the lever. Okay. Oh, I see. It's a bit too heavy to pick up. That's fine. There we go. One plane operational. Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear not really what we wanted to happen. Uh-oh. 
I'm running. No, I'm running. Oh boy. Oh, okay. You can see the the shadows with the whoa where the sticks are gonna come down. I thought I had to just be as quick as possible to keep up. Whoa. This one got me last time. There we go. Yikes. Whoa. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh boy. Okay, this is tricky. You have to really be coordinated. Yes, we got it. You might want to hop in. <laughs> oh, we're flying. Oh, I love this. Okay, so what am I going to have to avoid on this one? Oh, I love, love the music. Uh, it's birds. I'm a big bird fan. Whoa. I love birds, so I won't be... I'll be avoiding them. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Okay, well, that's not good, because it damages my engines. My engine, and... It makes me sad. Oh no, I hit one birdie. And the plane. Hello. Oh, I love this song. Uh oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. I cannot afford to get shot at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a hot air balloon? Oh! And a bomb? Ay, watch out! Okay, well, everything is... Everything's happening. This is not good. Birds. We got birds, we got planes, we got bombs. Oh no, no, no. What a hectic day. Two bombs, three bombs, four bombs. Please finish. <laughs> no, you do not. Get off. Oof. Oh. Uh oh. Lucky. I think we're safe. Oh, that was a challenge. We just made it. Despite his haphazard flying, <laughs> George managed to pinpoint oh, the George. enemy's location. He relayed the information to Freddy, who then launched the strike on the enemy cannons. But despite the triumph of reclaiming Vimy Ridge after three long years, their victory was marred by the dead bodies strewn across the hillside. Mm. While Europe was torn apart by war, the U.S. had begun a massive mobilization in what many believed could permanently change the tide of the war. Aboard the USS Pocahontas was a racially segregated unit, the old 15th, made up almost entirely of African-American soldiers. These men were sailing to Europe, ready to put their lives on the line mm. to prove their love for a country. Yeah. 
that didn't always love them back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dear Freddy, we're on our way to France. Mm -hmm. This is our first night at sea. But don't worry, me and the boys are ready. Speaking of the fellas, I lucked out and I'm getting on good with a fine bunch oh, of them. Good. There's Fidgety Lang Edwards, who never puts down his drumsticks. Jack Harris, our medic from Chicago. Joey Brass is from uh, Harlem and plays a mean banjo. And he has a pet bird. Chef is always cooking up stuff for us. We just have to make sure to get served before B.B. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Great guy, but he can really put it. Hey, don't eat that. Well, I gotta go now. Mm. Practice is about to start, and there's no jazz band without a clarinet. Ah, uh, nice. We get Stay to play. Safe. We'll see each other soon. Aww. Your brother, James. James, I really like him. He's sweet. Same as his brother. Let's try not to uh, do anything wrong. Yep. We're good, I think. Oh boy. Oh, I missed one. It's not my fault. <laughs> now they're challenging me. I'm putting a different letter. Oh, I think. Oh, I have to get it in the right time. Eeh. I'm trying my best. It's definitely harder than it looks. Oh no. Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh no! No 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 no! Well, look, we've got other things on our mind than hitting all the right notes. That's a big one. is beautiful though even without bomb notes lovely we made it thank goodness As the Pocahontas continued to cross the Atlantic their encounter with the German U-boat 155 brought them ever closer to the fight Entering the battlegrounds of the war, their ship was spotted by Ernst. Oh, hello. May 31st, 1916. On land, the conflict was bogged down in trench warfare. Neither the Allies nor the Central Powers were able to make significant gains. At sea, Allied forces dominated Germany with a crippling blockade. Determined to stay away from the war, Ernst escaped to the solitude offered by the depths of the sea. It was here below the surface that he scavenged, hoping to eke out a living. This is cool. Whoa. Oh, I like this. This is Ernst's. That's a hard word to say. Okay, so this is Ernst. I like being down there in the silence, busy searching for those little objects. Sometimes I get so caught up that I forget you're not going to be there to pull me back up into the boat. Anyways, I think I'll dive again in the morning. Hopefully the water will be clearer. The seas have been chopping and restless lately. Oh, it's beautiful down here. Oh, it's just... It, it's like an underwater desert, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I love it. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, 
candlestick. We might like that. Let's go inside. This would absolutely freak me out. Oh, great. Entrance is gone. We can find another way out, surely. Surely, surely. Okay, so we have. Oh, okay. See that? Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, that's him. Okay, that's him making that sound. Ah, a little throwable. I do see another box on that second level. Maybe we need to knock it down. Oh, no, that's the lever. Ah. Ah. There we go. Can we just fall straight down? Yikes. Oh. Okay, well, I can see a little bit of paper that I definitely want. Hang on. I think I need to... Oh, I think I have to push it all the way to the left. Because I'm going to have to climb up and push it from this direction. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, the sounds of him struggling, but it's all muffled. I like that. You'd not be getting me on this thing. I've played Soma. I remember that ship in Soma. Ah, uh, not doing it. I don't know whether to go up here or through that door. Okay, I'm guessing through the door. Because we seem to be lacking the next lever. Okay, I want to get it, so I need to think of how to get that. If I fall down again, then it should work out in my favor this time. Yes, just like that. Lovely. So now we can go back and put the lever in. Oh, I love this atmosphere. It's so nice. Okay, get up, get up. Lever goes in. What's that going to do? Maybe open the door? Yep. That is a big ladder. Let's go. Come on, Ernst. We can do it, buddy. Oh, an old piano. Oh, I would have loved to have played that. I don't think I can. Oh, what a beautiful room. Or it would have been. With that piano, probably uh, like a ballroom, you know? Lovely, very fancy. Not anymore. Okay. 
where is this gonna take us? Oh, that's what he had his eye on. Okay. Oh, wow. Very unexpected. Get out, get out. We may have to share our oxygen. Oh. Silly me. There's no sharing, is there? He's dead. I tried to look on the bright side. Oh, there's another body. Oh, wow, that ship is sinking right now. Whoa, another body. Oh, the water is so red here. That's a beautiful touch. I'm afraid to go up. I don't know if I want to see what's up here. Oh. Oof. Oh, what? Yep. I'll do as much as I can. I, I, I want to be able to save these people. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's two. One more, one more, one more. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I help? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank goodness. We're on this tiny little boat. In the middle of all this. There's another one? Whoa. There you go, sir. Come in, come in. Oof. There you go, there you go. Look, can someone else, like, pull these people up too? Can't just be all me. Get him, get him, get him. Get up, get up. There you go, there you go. Oh, this storm's so rough. Come on, come on. Get up, get up. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, what are we to do? There's... Oh. As his boat settled on the seabed, Ernst began to come to terms with the war's inevitable, all-consuming power. Defeated and alone, he could feel the Jutland water's cold embrace tightening around him. Oh no. There's no help for him? He's just doomed? Stranded for hours in the aftermath of the Battle of Jutland, Ernst was starting to feel his grip slip away. 
But when the merchant sailors aboard the submarine, the Germania, came to his aid, they not only saved Ernst's life, they also took him in as one of their own. In them, Ernst found kindred spirits and instantly felt right at home. Awesome. But even at home, you have to carry your weight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Schnapps and Maps? Schubert. Head up. Germania, Atlantic North, near Baltimore, 1916. Just gonna have a look at our diary. They sank our boat, Eric. This bloody war took our boat. It's all I had left of you. If that U-boat hadn't plucked me out of the water, I think I would have just let go and sunk with the rest of those poor sailors. I didn't think anything could lift my spirits, but there's some real good men in this crew. They even make me laugh. And for the first time in a long time, I don't want to be alone. Aww. Nice. Oh, he's got, he's got his run on, doesn't he? Okay, so we need to go and find someone down on the ladder. Oh, this place is very cramped, kind of messy. We have a spanner. Uh, hello? Oh, we need a new pipe. Okay. Yep. I'll find that for you, don't you worry. Wow, that's a cool room. It's got like lots of fish heads and collectibles in it. Maybe it's just all the stuff that mean a lot to them. A chicken! There it is. Alright, so we have the next little part. Does it go there? Or there? Cool. Okay, turn the wheel. Oh, there we go. We need to join that together. Beautiful. The ladder is this way. Oh, it opened the door. Hang on, do I pick up this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. The captain is upstairs, but I was just curious if there was anything else in that room there. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Let's go upstairs. Ooh. What way do we go? Ah, oh, great. I found the collectible. Cool, cool. I'm all, I was just very cautious. I didn't want to go the correct way. Okay, so what do you need, sir? Is that... Uh, does he need a periscope? Uh-huh. Where is it? Oh, we have to look... Okay, okay. 1916, the US had remained neutral, allowing for business as usual. Despite trade blockades, <laughs> the few merchant submersibles in existence, like the Germania, were still able to trade with them. Lee. Beautiful, you have to be so talented to play a violin like that, or any instrument really. characters James, who was working the Baltimore docks at the time was surprised to see the submarine pull into port Fight up. Hey. <laughs> ah. huh? no! oh are you kidding <laughs> That is hideous, disgusting. 
unnecessary stupid bullying. It makes me that? so mad. You okay? I don't have my tools because of what happened. I want to go. I want to salvage his clarinet. Mm. That is not good. Okay, so we need to find a couple of tools around the place. We also have a little bit more collectibles. Oh. This room is new, but don't seem to be able to do anything in there. What do you need? Oh. Oh, okay. He wants a pipe in exchange for the screwdriver. Now we got to Hang on, wait. There's a clarinet in here. That's got to be James's clarinet. I think they. I don't know whether that's his. I won't jump to conclusions, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not happy about that. Okay, well we have our pipe. Just getting. Oh, great. That's our last collectible. Ooh, you know why it makes me think. Can I turn off? Can I turn that off? I want to turn that off so I can get into the other room where the pig is. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Alright, well at least we have the pipe. Now I just gotta find that guy again. Ah, oh, there he is. Thank you. Now we can go give that to our friend. I wonder if we'll tell him about the clarinet. go. Nice. So I've got that. Is there anything that way? No, no, no. Good job. Oh, now he needs... Uh, I think that's a spanner. Oh, the cook has it. Okay. Oh! And this may be my opportunity to turn the pipe to go into that little room. Here we go. What do you need? You want the pig. Yep. Now I can do it. Let's turn off that pipe there. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh, the pig's loose. Don't think that was meant to happen. Oh, you got the pig. Nice. Well, there you go. I'm curious about this way, but there was nothing there after all that. All right, back to James with our spanner and maybe he'll ask for the clarinet there you go sir it's either a spanner or a wrench I don't know it'll do <laughs> Aye, there we go nice thank you Yeah. Clarinet. Yes, he wants his clarinet. Ah, clarinet. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. 
I'm really happy we can get that back for him. Now I have to remember where that is. It's really testing me, isn't it? I'm trying to remember where everything is, but I've got it. That wasn't too bad. Back to James. Oh, nice. I was worried that we would get stopped by someone. But it's good, it's good. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, so he's now going on board the submarine. Lovely. Hey, cool. Oh, not this again. Oh no. Great. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, they, they, they really want to punish me. I should be alright. Maybe. Ugh. I can't even enjoy having a little dance. I have to concentrate. sounds like what would you do with a drunken sailor I don't know if that's what it is though yay we did really well I liked that one dear Freddy I'm glad to hear you're doing good <laughs> I hope you won't be upset with me what with the war and all but I recently met a German and we really had a lot in common mm. it turns out Ernst is a damn good musician I'm proud to say he's become a friend. We promised each other that when this war is over, hmm. me and Ernst will play together. Uh, I intend to keep that promise. Your brother, James. Hmm. I love that. They can make friends despite their differences. The Germania's voyage was a commercial success and her crew returned eager for their next trade. But their triumphant return was interrupted by Ooh. the German Imperial Navy. As the sole German national aboard, Ernst was conscripted to fight. The submarine, too. Mm. At least they're still in good spirits. That was just fond memories. Hmm. to go to the periscope. Anything that way? Nope. Cards. There's a hole, no ladder. By decree of the Kaiser, the Germania was henceforth ordered to hunt convoys in the Atlantic. Oh. Ernst was faced with a grim choice. Yes. Torpedo the Pocahontas and oh. kill his friend. Or disobey a superior's direct What order. is he going to do? Risk being put to death. He had chosen to save his friend, but knew it would only be a matter of time before he was ordered to kill again. Yeah. What would even be his excuse? It was a misfire? He just made a mistake? Chapter two, Broken Souls. 1917, Sandman Hold <laughs> Hospital. Doctors and nurses alike tried in earnest to patch up swarms of broken bodies yeah. and wounded psyches. Mm -hmm. Anna, the Belgian nurse, battled every day against the war to save soldiers. Anna, I remember her from the first game. Mm, so nice to see her again. 
Wow. Oh, I love this. You need help? Oh. Oh, he does need. He needs help. Oh. There you go. Oh, I love that. This is so, so nice. Oh. And you, sir? Let me help you. Oh, you're not doing too badly. The other guy was pretty bad. My pleasure. I just want to check all the way to the right though. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a door. But I think we just need to go. We need to go in this door first. Oh, wow. He needs medicine. Yep, yeah, okay. Where am I going to find that? Do you have it? Nope. Okay, it's probably in this door to the right. There it is! Great! Yes! Oh, I hope he's still alive by the time I get back to him. Run out of time. There you go, sir. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Let me bandage that up. There you go. Poor dude. My pleasure. Sometimes Anna could heal the soldiers' ailments and put them on the path to recovery. Mm. Other times, it was a matter of alleviating their pain. Yes. And merely postponing the inevitable. Yeah. On this day, a rare ray of hope pierced the gloom of the hospital grounds. Finally, with the arrival of new medical equipment, technological progress would be used to help the wounded of war instead of producing them. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Surprised to see her dear friend again, Anna handled each of the wounded soldiers with care. Oh my gosh. She couldn't wait to speak with Freddy and catch up on old times. <laughs> and the doggy too. Oh, that's amazing. You need help? Yes. Oi. I'm running out of time. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Oh, that was close. Jeez, they want you to be a speed demon. Getting these people healed up. There we go. I'm not too bad at the bandaging. Now we need to see our friend, uh, Freddy, and the doggy, but... Are they inside or if they are they still outside? Okay, we still have a few more things to find. They must be inside. Oh, all the sick and the wounded. Let's go. Okay, so you need some alcohol by the look of it. Doggy. I forget his name. Oh, what was the dog's name? Can I use? Can I be the dog? Oh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
What do you want, sir? I think he needs a scarf. Look, I'm gonna have to look up the dog's name because I forget his name. I think it was... was it Walt? I'm not sure. Yes, it, it's Walt. It's Walt. Oh, I love it! We got our little doggy back. Okay, so we need to find quite a few things. Oh, it's locked. But you know what? This is exactly what we need. Good boy. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Thank you very much. doing in here oh I can see up the top is the drink but how do we get the dog up there oh there's stairs oh okay can use the ladder. Let's put that out of the way. Um, just want to get this collectible first. I can't send the dog through. Can I? No. Maybe there's something that we can do by going up the ladder. But the dog can't go up the ladder. see the scarf that we need. Lovely. If I can go all the way to the right. Oh no. That looks like that toolbox of um, what's his name? Freddy's. But I need to get that drink that's up there. That's amazing. Good job, boy. Lovely. That's awesome. So that's everything that we need. So he's carrying the scarf and I've got the drink. Let's go and help uh, the wounded. All right, the drink. Oh. Gee, they love to do the timed ones, don't they? Goodness me. There we go. And we'll bandage you up and then you can have your whiskey. For being such a brave patient. There you go, sir. Let me take the scarf. Good boy. Goodness. Oh no, I failed. That was way too close. Anna and Freddy both <laughs> took solace in the bonds of friendship. Oh no. Hearing the bombs fall, Anna knew they had struck the heart of a populated civilian area. Mm. That's terrible. Oh. Anna! No, she only cares. For the, for the injured, she wants to help Always the injured. Always quick to act. She drove off to help the wounded. Yeah. I remember the uh, the driving mission as Anna in in the first game, and it was hard. Let me tell you. 
Oh, did I get all the collectibles in the last one? I'm not too sure. Oh, excuse me, I've forgotten to look at the diaries. I need to check if there's any new ones. So this is Freddy's. In the middle of all this, seeing Anna again, I was speechless. Goes to show that you never really know how things will turn out in this war. It's hard to believe Anna's here with me now and still the same amazing woman. Also still stubborn. When she puts her mind to something, she doesn't give up. Reminds me of a certain someone else I know. I'm sure she and James would get along just fine. Or not. And Anna's diary. I need to get some sleep. A few winks will do, but this never ending war just won't let me. Sometimes I feel like I'm drowning in the wounded and some of them are so young, barely a hair on their chin. It saddens me to see them suffering in their prime, but I'm here to help and get them back on their feet. I'm not going anywhere. That was so good. Hang on, wait, can I do the dog? No, 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 no. I think we just need to help at the moment. Get it out. There we go. Nice. Oh, these poor ladies. Someone's stuck here. I can see a ladder. They're stuck. Can I do anything? Okay, I can see a pulley, but I'm gonna need that lever. Mm, where is it? Where is it? Right, where is that thing? Oh, there's something to throw here. I don't think that's the solution. No. Okay, well let's go in. Think of what else we can do. What about throwing it on the onto the ladder? That looks like it's going to do something. Yep, ladder comes down. Can we go up. Bolt cannot come up there, obviously. I yes he can. Yes he can. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna grab a brick. We'll probably need it. Just like that. There he goes. Oh, there's a key there. Mm. What do I do? I want the key and the brick. Come on. How about I take that? And you gotta go and grab that key. Get it, boy. Good job. You can hold on to the key just for now. Okay, so Walt is going to make his way up here. Oh, I think I actually need to get the... Oh, wait. I think he's coming up now. There he goes. How about we have a swapsies? You take the brick, I take the key. Yes. 
Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh, nice. No glass to pick out this time. Another little collectible. We do have two more to get. Hmm. I'm still missing. Still missing something. It's not in here. Oh, the, there's another doorway. Lucky. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, let's try and work this out. Okay, so that gets us across. Get that barrel. Oh, I'm gonna need that key that's up there to get into that room. Okay, I think, I think I've got ideas. Well, what we're going to have to do is, oh, we can't move that all the way over. What about if we lift that? Oh, the dog gets on it. up and down. Stay there, doggy. Oh, how do I do this? I don't think the dog's going to jump. He's not going to jump, is he? There. Get, get the key, boy. Get the key. Good boy. Come back. Yes. Amazing! And get on that one. And you're gonna come right down. And we're gonna exchange. Nope, get off that. Give me the key. Oui, bon oh. Thank you. Lovely. Now we can get into this door. Oh, there's a little. There's a shirt up here. That's another collectible. I can hear a lady. Oh yeah, she needs help. Oof. Oh, that is just awful, isn't it? I'm not really great with blood and things like that and even this is just freaking me out a little bit there we go good good i did see a little room for the doggy to go in but he's not really doing that That's just how he gets up and down. Hmm. Oh, this is different. But I still haven't found that lever. Well, this is certainly different anyway. move that across but it's not really going to oh I see the lever okay well let's bring hang on I see the lever and how do I get up there oh no, no, no. 
Oh wait, there's a little gap. I can see a little gap. Walt. Please. Get here, don't get stuck. Oh no. He's stuck. I need to get him up there. I see it, I see it. Maybe I'll just go all the way back and see if he resets himself. Yep, so there's the dog. He's reset. If I just uh, take it easy. Yes, that's it. Good boy. Great. I was so worried I would have to redo all that. Good job, good job, good job. So now he can go back. And... Come on. Give me that... Um, give me that lever. <laughs> before anything else goes wrong. Thank you. Alrighty, let's go. Now we can finally help these people over here. There we go. Nice. Yep, that's it. Amazing! That is so good. Oh no. Oh! It was too late? Seeing a Zeppelin creep toward the bomb factory, Freddy feared the worst for honor. Mm. He hopped on his motorbike and raced to join him. Freddy arrived yes. just in time to see Anna emerging from the debris. She's fine. She had once again put her life on the line mm -hmm. to save others. Yeah. Of course, that's just who she is. Oh. December 27th, 1917. The Pocahontas arrived in Brest, France to a celebratory welcome. <laughs> they made it. Unknown to the old 15th, the decision had already been made to use them only for combat service support. Oh. They were not to see battle. Okay. Desperate for soldiers to fight, the French pushed hard for the newly arrived 15th to join them on the battlefield. Seems that they don't really want them. They were eventually successful. The old 15th would fight under the French banner and be renamed the 369th Infantry Regiment. Nice. The Americans were once again outfitted as soldiers should be, then paired up with a French counterpart. Yeah. They would now ah, all the fight pigeons. together. <laughs> What's our job? What do we have to do? Are there any new diaries? Finally at the front line. We're raring to go, but everyone around us looks dazed. A bunch of tired and hungry boys. I wonder if Freddy's not far. Will I ever be able to find him in all of this? I just hope these French soldiers are welcoming. How do you say my name is James from the old 15th in French? I'll ask that nice Andre fellow from Louisiana. I'm sure he'll know. That mobile x-ray unit is going to be a lifesaver. I know it. I'm curious to meet the American medic Jack Harris to show him the petite curie and maybe he could teach me about transfusion techniques. But then I've got to go where I'm needed and that's Vimy. But that means leaving Freddy behind. All right, let's do it. Oh, okay, you want wood for the fire. 
because we're all gold. Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, I need a key to get in there. Alrighty, let's go. Got a helmet. Where do we get this wood from? Snowball. in here. Oh. There's wood. But I'm guessing he won't let me. Alright, so what happens uh, if we throw a snowball at his head? That dog takes you blue. Me! Get it, get it, get it. Do we need to keep hiding? Or can we leave? Oh, that was pretty easy. Let's grab another snowball. Oh, no, no, no. Gotta take our wood. There we go. Now he's happy. Oh, we're needing a nice potato. Look for our lunch. Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! That's um. Wait. Was that James's letter? Oh, we need a we need a key. Cause that looks like a picture of of James and Freddie. Pigeons. Okay, so he's wanting. Deb. The rock tricks you to pato. Oh, we need to deliver. Okay, deliver it to the guy in a red hat. All right. Guy in a red hat coming up. I think I've seen that guy. Where is he? Is it you? Oh, I need a potato. Hang on. I thought I saw something. Is it you? Ah! Ah, now I can get my potato! One measly potato. There we go. So now that we've done that. Oh, we need a pot lid. Oh. Well, where's that? I'm not stuck. I'm not stuck. You want a key. What's that? Oh, I think I have to... Oh, he gave me... He gave me the key for this room down here on the right. And if I get something for him, he will give me the pot lid. Okay. That thing. No? That thing. Oh, jeez. This is heavy. How are we going to walk out of here unnoticed? This is very big, very heavy, very slow. Here you go, sir. Took me a long time to get here. Give me my lid. Thank you. Finally, we can cook out one potato. Hi. Yes, it's his letter. It's for him. Ready? You know Freddy? Yeah. Oh! I... For James and Freddy, the long-awaited reunion was a powerful reminder that neither time nor distance can erode the extraordinary bond of brotherhood. Yeah. 
The general mood among the 369th Infantry was one of camaraderie and shared purpose. Anna, joining them for a last meal before heading back to Vimy, was finding it particularly hard to say goodbye to Freddy. Oh. What are we up to now? Washing stuff. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, I can see Anna and Walt and Freddy in the back there. Oh, we need to go in here. Alrighty. Let's go in here. And I think we're going in here. Ah, uh, let me put that on the stove. Oh, we're going further along this time. Ah, nice. I don't know what we're going to be up to. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! But their renewed optimism was soon dashed. By nightfall, everyone in the 369th would be reminded of the perils this war had in store for them. Yep. Oh, no. Arriving in Vimy, Anna was now ready to begin her new assignment, training British medics. Meanwhile, George was developing photos taken during his reconnaissance missions. But tonight, the quiet peace of the dark room was broken by a barking wall. <laughs> okay, what's he up to? What's he found? Ah! Little Walt! Oh! Ooh. Okay. Something's been stolen. Documents. That guy. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, God. How am I going to do this? Ooh, no, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm safe. I'm safe. I think. I mean, we're hiding in plain sight, though, aren't we? Oh, there he is. Okay, there's somewhere to hide. Here. Just stay here. You don't see nothing. All right, he's gone in there. Another place to hide. The dog's not hiding. Does that matter? There's two places we should... No, dog! Dog! Don't do me dirty! Close. Too close. Can I hide behind the tree? Does that do anything? Oh, dog, 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 dog. Be silly. Oh, I'm so nervous. A ladder needs to come down. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Can I send the dog up there? Uh, I would like to send the dog up there to go get that ladder. Hmm. There's something up there, but. Oh, wait! I can punch! I forgot about that. 
great. Okay, well let's move this so we can get that collectible. It almost looks like Walt is trying to help, but we know he's not. Great. Um, one moment. Do we have any new diaries? Who would have thought my hobby would come in handy during a war? You brushed it off at the time, but now my photography skills are a matter of life and death. I reckon there are really only two places where I can truly feel myself. Up in the air and in a dark room, they both give me the peace I crave. Training the British medics is going well, despite some communication issues. Talking with Freddy is much easier than trying to explain wound lancing. Everyone's interested in the mobile x-ray unit. It's great to see the good we can do. And I'm so happy James and Freddy found each other again. I just hope it won't be too long before we're all back together. Oh, can you go get that doggy? Thank you. Good boy. What exactly is it? It kind of looks like a rock or a grenade. I don't think it would be a pile of grenades. That's going to get that ladder down there. There he is. Okay. What do I do here? Where is it going to take me? I'll just wait for him to walk past. Alright, that takes me... Oh! Not where I was expecting. I was expecting to be in... <laughs> Like his room. Okay. We have another rock, but I don't know what that's gonna do. Oh, wait. I think I need to throw my rock. <laughs> Hang on, wait. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> a good enough view of it. Oh, that's cool. I did it. Okay, so now we've unblocked that pathway in the middle. That got me a little bit, I will admit. But we managed. close now. Getting close. Come on, doggy. That's our last collectible for this little stage. Okay. That guy must be a spy because he's taken secret documents. In the German trenches, oh my goodness. I'll have to wait for him to turn around. There. I've got that guy in the middle too. And this guy. Okay, I'll wait. Oh, I've got a guy up in that bunker up there, see? Is he going to notice me? Apparently not. He's not very observant. Alrighty, 
good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Eee. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can send Walt to go and get it. I might have to because that guy is not looking away. He doesn't even notice. Okay, so what do I do with this? I just don't know what's going to happen. And that's what I need to do, right? Okay. Hmm. Yep, a distraction. So now he's facing that way. Excellent. I think I'll grab another one just in case. Good. Okay, I don't think I need to. I'll just wait for him to do his loop again. And then I should be alright. Alright, go, go, go. Oh, I need a wheel. Ah, no. I need a wheel thing to open the door. Oh, this is stressful. Oh, I've got something. There's my wheel. Hang on. Get, get, get the wheel, get the wheel, get the wheel. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Oh, I'm so scared. Thank you. We'll swap. You have the drink, I have the wheel. Oh. Will this be enough time? on and then when he goes back that way then I'll turn the wheel oh yikes oh that was so scary that was really really scary I don't even know if I'm going the right way Yikes. Oh. Oh, I can't eat that guy out there. Please don't come in. Whoa. I'm going that way. Uh, anyone up here? Oh, dear. Okay, there's um, there's a stone. I could distract that guy. Let's throw <laughs> that. Distract him. Get him to look that way. Nice. Expert stealth. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. That didn't quite work very well, did it? But we're managing to hide nicely. Okay. Hmm. Oh God. Aye. Oh no, I'm gone, I'm gone. Okay. Do it again. Just wait for them to come by. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, no. What do I do? 
Can I do it? Just. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I think I'm going to wait for them to come back. Yep, yeah, okay, good, good, good. This is tricky. Tricky, tricky. Okay, we'll wait for them to go. Ah! I just made that. Oh my god. Oof. I should be fine. That's our last collectible in here. Well, let's get out of here. This way? No. This way. Oh, that was lucky. Nice. Okay, do we have any more? Oh no. This feels extremely vulnerable, out in the open, risky. At least we got those documents back, though. Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh, okay. No time for goggles on the dog. Let's just get out of here. You're not happy. <laughs> As George headed back toward Allied lines, he snapped a photo of the massive movement of enemy troops and weapons. Whoa. Wow. Oh no, not this again. Okay, we'll just try our best. I'll see if I can do it without failing this time. Not that I failed last time, but I did let a bird in. And this time I don't want any mistakes. Whoa, watch out. Oh! Whoa! That almost got me. This is good, this is good. And I can see Walt. He's hanging on for dear life at the back there. But he wasn't out of danger just yet. Okay. Seeing his German plane, <laughs> Allied forces started Oh, no, 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 no. Yikes. I might just go up. Oh, I'm stuck in the middle there. Okay. A lot of things to try and avoid. Eee. Dead lost. These other people are pretty bad though, I'll be honest. They're bad shots. They don't even bother shooting. Okay, so finally someone's got their guns out. For a little bit in the wrong area. Oh, that guy was sneaky. He was actually good. Not bad, not bad. 
<laughs> Yay, I think we did it. Upon landing, oh. George was placed under arrest on suspicion of espionage. Oh. Fortunately, he was able to back up his story with proof. Thank goodness. I'm glad he took that photo. Spring 1918. With the Brest-Litovsk peace treaty signed, German fighting on the Eastern Front came to an end, freeing up troops for advancement to the Western Front. A series of offensives were launched, pushing the Allied lines to the breaking point. The last of these offensives was launched near saint Menehould. For James and the 369th, the long-awaited opportunity to prove themselves had finally come. Let's go! Yeah. Oh, watch out! Dude! Don't just stand on it! Oh, man. Oh, great. That... Oh, that's just a collectible. That's not gonna help. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Say stop, stop, stop. Go, 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 go. Right, so now we have to um, watch out for gunfire as well as bombs dropping. Everyone is terrified. Jeez. Can I pick up any of that? I would have thought so, but it's not letting me right now. Maybe it's not just something I do right now. Unless I go back and someone says I need that. Oh, here, here. Yep, yeah, okay. All right, and now I'm gonna need that. All right, let's go. Got it. Oh, ho, ho. I'm gonna be slow as with this thing. Oh, I see. Oh, man. Go, go, go. Oof. Thank you, sir. No worries. What should I do now? Just help, help as many people as I can. Someone over here. Oh, they always get me. They always get me. Got it, I got it. Oh ho ho! There goes our cover. This thing. Oh, it's stuck. Oh no. Hey! Yes! Oh, awesome. Do we stop here? Yep, let's just stop and wait. Go. Oh, this thing is so heavy and slow. There you go. Nice, we're doing such a good job. Someone else needs help. Go, 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 go. That poor guy is still suffering on the ground. Nobody's helped him. Go, go. Yes. What do you want? Hey. Hey. 
Oh, ammo? Isn't that like way back here? Oh, there's something on the ground there. Oh, lovely. We could have asked me for ammo before. Now I have to go back all this way. Alright, got the ammo. Another heavy box, of course. Gonna slow us down. Go, 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 go. Nice! We did it! Oh! Oh ho ho! Even though they had managed to hold the position, the 369th had paid a heavy price. Before leaving to care for the wounded, Anna made sure to give James and Freddy a long embrace, hoping this would not be their last. Yeah. After a dreadful night fighting to stay alive, James and Freddy were blinded by the camera flash. Oh. Impressed by the troops' accomplishments, the American press gave them the nickname <laughs> Harlem Hellfighters. Right. Their brand of music was all the rage, oh, wow. earning them an invitation to perform in Paris. Nice. Look at that. I hope they make it. Hang on. Really? Oh, wow. That's incredible. I'm happy for them. Hmm. More button pressing? Oh. Oh. For the man that he lost his life. Yeah. I'm sorry. They honor him by leaving him there an empty seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. Doing all right this time. Oh, as soon as I say that, I just shouldn't say anything. Chapter 3, Bitter Truths August 8th, 1918 On land, Germany endured its darkest day of war Knowing the Kaiser's demand for victory was unattainable, the German officers pressed forward, fighting for more advantageous positions at sea, in the hope of gaining leverage for negotiating a truce. Following a series of revolts by their troops, German command ordered naval captains to tighten their grip on sailors and quash any stirrings of mutiny at sea. Yeah. Morse code. What's that saying? Hearing about acts of insurrection, Ernst felt emboldened and decided he had to deactivate oh. his submarine's torpedoes. Okay. 
He's going to get in big trouble for that. Oh, I don't know about this, Ernst. I don't know about this, dude. All right, I think we have a couple more diary entries. If anyone can get us through this, I know it's you, Freddy. We all look up to you. Ever since we lost Chef, it's been hard to keep pushing forward, but you'll push us just enough. Get us to where we need to go. I've got faith in you, and I know that other fellows do too. I have to keep it together for my boys, and especially James. I can't lose a single one of them. I've lost enough over these last few years, enough for a lifetime. Holding this whistle, waiting to charge, it's got me thinking about a meal. I miss that old Frenchie and our talks, but I have to keep focused. I have to bring James and the rest of the boys home. I love that he still thinks about Emile. I can't take much more of this, Eric. I wish you were here to give me confidence. This war keeps eating away at me, bit by bit, dragging me under. Maybe to join you. I'm weary. The war's taken everything from me. You, our boat, the Germania's crew. I've got to find a way to get out and get back home. Whew. Yeah. It would be just so incredibly draining. Oh, they've got guns. Oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get away with this. No way at all. I have to... Oh! Yeah, okay, where are we going there? I've got to disable the torpedoes, but... How? I'm not going that way. I need that wheel that's up in that room, but how am I meant to get it? Let's see what we can do here. Try not going that way. See if that does anything. It's not going to do anything. Okay, well we can get past. Go that way. Let's take our bit of pipe down. Can we put it on there, perhaps? Hey, got him. So which which guy did I get? Was it the guy up the top? I think so. Actually, I'll just go and double check. Yep. 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 Got him. That's gonna hurt though. All that steam in the face. Oh, that's my wheel. That's my wheel. Beautiful. All right. If we can just do that on both sides, we should be good as gold. Okay, can I turn this now, actually? And put it going back um, this way. Nothing's up that way, is it? No. Can I put the wheel on? Ah! Nice. Got him. Got him. Got him. Um. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. We actually did it. Oh, he's not happy. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. While Ernst was happy to be alive, he again found himself in the crossfire of war mm. and his freedom taken away. Yep. Now a British POW, oh. his only consolation was being able to play his fiddle once oh. more. He said something. September 26th, 1918. Determined to cut the German supply line, Allied forces launched the Meuse-Argonne offensive. 
For James and his fellow soldiers, this undertaking was bigger than any they had faced before. Mm. Soldiers on both sides steeled themselves for the whistleblow yeah. and the impending chaos of the charge. Mm -hmm. Come on! Mm -hmm. Sole comfort being the unwavering support of their brothers and arms. Uh, I love that I'm at least here with our with with our brother, James's brother, Freddy. That's something. Yep, let's go and watch out. Trying to see where the things are gonna drop. Yep, yeah, the red. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, everyone is just petrified. Go, go, go. Oh, that's gonna. Yep. Yeah. Terrible. Go. Gotta get my collectible. Go, go, go. Oh, watch out, watch out. Okay, watch out for the bombs. Run. Stop. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. I'm trying to keep my my group alive as well as myself come on come on fellas go 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 oh thingy to pick up. Ah, uh, now I got it, now I got it. Alright, let's try this again. How do I do this? Do I have to aim it at the bomb? Nice. Good. Oh, I need another one. Okay. You guys could have picked up one too, you know. Alright. Let's see if we can do this first try. Nice. Let's go! Oh yeah, we're ready. Oh ho ho. Wait. Just wait, wait, wait. Go. Oh, this is going to slow us down. What is mud? Oh my goodness. Hang on. You know what I can see is that. There we go. Good. Whew, we made it, we made it. Dynamite. Yep. Let's do it. Let's wait. We're gonna have to time this really well because we have to push this thing, which is really heavy and slow. They're all 
still gonna get shot. It would help if someone actually pushed as well. Go! Just made it. They don't give you much time. Oh, nice. Let's go, let's go. Good. It's up here, though. Another little collectible. You know, I I think I've missed a couple in this level, but it's been really hard I'm trying not to die so far. Come on, fellas. Oh, wow. to get the words out, pleaded with James to lead the men and continue their push forward with the offensive. No. Reluctant to leave him behind, James complied. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Well, he's just there by himself. I don't know if Anna is anywhere nearby. Oh, no. Go, just go, just go. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? We're gonna lose everybody. We'll lose everyone. See, can't see now. Oh, help! Yes, help him. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. Amazing. Oh, now we have very precious cargo. Oh, this is going to be tough. Whoa. Are you kidding? I just got done immediately by a lightning bolt. What? Oh, no. I'm in big trouble. I don't think I'm going to do any good. I just got hit again. So do we have to stay out of the middle, maybe? Yikes. Yeah, I don't think I'm surviving uh, this first time. Oh! Damn, look at that guy. It's pretty impressive. Showing off with your brand new plane. Mine's all bent. Electrocuted. Oh no, yeah, I'm gone. I'm gone. It's, that, it's the lightning bolts that get me. I don't know how much more I can take. I've only had like that one hit since my last death, but. Please? We've made it? Please? Please? Oh, thank goodness. Those sequences are always very challenging. Flying in such stormy weather would have been a challenge for any skilled pilot. Mm. Even so, George had decided to brave the storm and risk his own life to save his friends. Yeah. 
Well, I guess in a way it's risking both of their lives because maybe George wouldn't have made that, but he did, luckily. Okay, what can we do? SOS. Need help, need help. Anna! Yes? Stunned no. to see her dear Freddy suffering. Yes, help him. Anna quickly got to work. Yes, let's help him. Stay with me. We're going to do the best damn job. Maybe. Can we do it? Oh, just. Uh oh. Oh. Come on, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Yes. Stay with me. Yes. Jump on, Freddy. Yep. We got him. We got him. You're fine. Yes. He's fine. He's fine. He's gonna be just fine. Hold on, Freddy. Hmm. Hold on, Freddy. You're fine. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, stay Bandage. with me. Wonderful. Yes! After four long years, Freddy's injuries had ended his fight. Always the one to protect others. He would now be the one in need of care. Yeah. On the slow road to recovery. At least he's going to be okay. Despite his wounds, he remained in good spirits thanks to Anna hmm. by his side every step of the way. Hmm. Nice. He's okay. I'm happy. With Freddy out of commission, James took over as squad leader. For the Harlem Hellfighters, <laughs> the experience on the ground remained brutal. Yeah. And the memory of their fallen friends ever present. At that very moment, news of the truce being signed between the German and Allied forces made its way to the front. Oh. Anna was sent to relay the good news without delay. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, let's go and spread the word. Let's go. Us and little Walt. Beautiful. Oh! Diary! Diary! I've seen so much horror in such a short amount of time, and seeing the French soldiers looking tired and beaten down, the fact that they made it this far is a miracle. Jack and Chef didn't. I want to believe this is when we bring it all to an end. There aren't many of us left. God, I miss those boys. We almost lost Freddy to this war. I'm not going to let it take another one. But is there still enough of the fight left in us hellfighters? Sleep's getting harder and harder to come by. It seems like every time I close my eyes, I see death and grief. I hear rumors that the war might be ending. I hope they're true. Those clouds look menacing. Stormy sky never fly, father used to say. But there's no turning back now. What choice do I have? I've gotten this far, and I know I'm getting better. I can handle this. I just wish I had my co-pilot. I wish I had you with me. So many have lost their lives to get us to this point. This is the battle that's going to win us this war. With Anna back in my life and James fighting by my side, I know I can lead us to victory. I can't let them down, and I won't let down my men. I'm not used to everyone fussing over me. But despite a pang here and there, I feel like I'm on my way to recovery. Anna tells me so, and she's not one to beat around the bush. I'm in awe of that woman, and my love for her keeps on getting stronger. I want us to start a new life together back home. I hope Anna will agree. Oh, amazing, amazing. I'm sure she will. All right, let's go. It's just us and our little Walt. Not going that way. We're going the opposite direction that 
Everyone else is going. And that ju that's just a sign that maybe you shouldn't be going this way, but we have a job to do. Oh, well, you're going to have to go up and get me one of those little rocks, please. Thank you. Good boy. Very good boy. Oh, we're going to ring that bell. Aren't we? Yes. That's it. And just like mm. that, at the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th mm. month, the war suddenly stopped. Bells rang all over the country, spreading the good news. The war was finally over. <laughs> Seeking a new life far from the devastation of Europe, Anna and Freddy set off to make a home in the United States. Pending the outcome of the Treaty of Versailles, Ernst was still being held captive in France as a POW, forced to do hard labor. Mm. Thanks to George's flying and active valor, the RAF accepted him as one of their own. Mm. Oh, it's a beautiful ending. I'm happy. After being duly rewarded the Croix de Guerre by the French military, the Harlem Hellfighters were once again placed under American command. Oh, okay. Is it not quite over? All right. I thought with the war being over... Maybe we just have some And while up the Harlem do. Hellfighters prepared to return home, James and Lang Edwards volunteered to help the service of supply clean up oh. the battlefield. Yes, tidying up to do indeed. Ernst? Ernst! <laughs> His buddy. <Fuck>. James! <laughs> That's nice. <sighs> yes, sir. Yeah, can't really do much, eh? Unless we can somehow, like, get him out. I'm not sure. At last, no more bloodshed, no more senseless slaughter. I still can't believe this day has come. I can finally breathe again, look around and see some glimmers of hope. Freddy's health is getting better day after day, and he's told me he wants to start over with a clean slate, with me. It is time to move on and make a new home. That is amazing. Look, can we not, can we not help? No, just stop. Go away, go away. I need to try and help Ernst somehow. What can we do? There has to be a way. Having 
to go through and find people's belongings, things that meant a lot to, to some people. Oh! James, I'm not sure where or when this message will find you, but please know that I've made every effort to contact What's you. What's happened? Oh no, what, what is this? The day had started so well. We were on our way to buy furniture for our home. When some men told us we couldn't shop together, Freddy argued with them, and it ended badly. Freddy! Oh, oh no. no, come on. Come on Don't leave me. Oh, no, 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 no. You're come right. on, why? You're all right. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, hold on. Come on, Freddy. No. no. No, no, no. Come on. No, no, no. Hold on. You're all right. You're all right. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't think we can do it. No, no, no. Oh, that no. was disgusting. Why would they do that? I couldn't save him. Including the letter he intended to mail you. I'm sorry to share this horrible news. Your friend, Anna. Dear James, I hope you're doing fine. I can't wait for you to come back home, and I bet you're feeling the same way. I'm sure you're keeping everyone in good cheer with those sweet melodies you play on your clarinet. I never imagined romance would come back into my life, especially during a war. But Anna and I are both enjoying a fresh start. None of this would have been possible without you. Your optimism and infectious spirit brought me back to life. It's also been such a joy to see you mature into the man you've become today. I'm so incredibly proud of you. With all that you've accomplished, I know now there are better days for us, for people who look like you and me. I'm certain that the future you and so many others fought for will become a reality. P.S. I hear there's going to be a parade in honor of those who served during the war. You should be home by then, and I will be right by your side. <laughs> See you soon, little brother. Freddy. It's not fair. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Just 
just makes me feel so sad. Like, what a waste. What a Despite senseless waste. Despite heroic efforts during the First World War, it would take nearly a century for the Harlem Hellfighters to finally get the recognition that they earned with their lives, their dignity, and their valiant hearts. And like so many other people dragged into this war on all sides, we should honor both the remembered and the forgotten, whose lives were indelibly altered, ruined, and far too often lost in the machinery and fate of the Great War. They really love to get you, don't they? <laughs> they love to come in with an emotional story that's gonna break your heart. <laughs> well, that was Valiant Hearts Coming Home, and as a huge fan of the first game, Valiant Hearts, and all the characters in that, it makes me so happy to see so many of those characters return. Even though we had such a sad ending, I'm definitely reminded of the incredibly sad ending um, with Valiant Hearts and it seems that they want to follow along in that tradition, which is sad and disappointing, but maybe expected, I guess. I had hoped that this game would have a little bit more of a happier outcome, but it wasn't quite meant to be. I think Freddy's death and the horrible way that he died really shows what impact hatred and bullying, like unnecessary hatred and evilness can have on people in, in this world. I mean, that just breaks my heart and I feel, I feel terrible. I love that we got to read and still remember a meal um, in this game and have that little picture of him there at the end with his uh, soup, <laughs> his soup ladle. It's just been an absolute treat. I really, really enjoyed this game. And if you were a fan of the first game, then you're probably really going to love this one as well. It was a pleasure to play. It was very, very similar. Like, the graphics are just the same, the gameplay mechanics are the same, it had a lot of the same sequences like running away from the dropping bombs, trying to get away from like when you're in the plane. I remember in the first one we played as Anna driving a car and you had to avoid things in her car. That was very similar with the plane segments. I thought it was just fantastic and I honestly loved it. Thanks so much again to Ubisoft for providing me with the game. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a long one, but I want to experiment with putting more like full games in videos like this. And to me, it just is so much fun to sit here and finish a game in the one session and get deeply involved in it and so immersed and it really does help, honestly, if I can play for a long time. So I loved it. I thought it was just so brilliantly done. And even though it had such a sad ending, so many positives came out of this as well. And I, I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye.